Okay, let's review the, uh, you start, blah, 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 blah. Okay, tell I'm getting tired. I believe this is an M9 bayonet, uh, with scabbard. Uh, what it looks like there. This hooks on your, uh, uh, Alice style, uh, web belt. <clears throat> I bought this uh, online, I forget where, right prior to the loon for Iraq. Uh, I wanted uh, a good bayonet for my uh, M4. Uh, and uh, being part of the National Guard, they don't always issue you all the equipment you want to have. So I did personal purchase and bought this. As you can see, it's just about cherry. I didn't use it too much. Reason being, I was uh, uh, promoted to be in a M249 saw gunner, and there's no provision on that weapon for a bayonet attachment. So I pretty much didn't use this for the two years I was in Iraq. But I'm going to review this uh, uh, for your informational pleasure uh, very rugged very sturdy very heavy um, it's got this neat little uh, snap and uh, uh, I guess you'd call it a snap and strap assembly the bayonet will not come out of the scabbard with that uh, deployed so to get it out I'm going to open that up and pull out the bayonet over the scabbard a little bit. There's an attachment right here to attach your bayonet to make uh, wire cutters. See the tip of your bayonet right there? Goes in like so. Add it backwards goes in like so and you can snip your wire you see that cut your wire see that pretty cool you also find that on the AK-47 bayonets I was gonna get one of those to review to compare the two and I may do that in the future but I'll tell you what very wisely, they blacken the uh, the uh, blade there, so it doesn't reflect as much, giving your position away. It's good that they blacken that. That's very uh, important that you have that. You don't want anything shiny or glossy can reflect and give your position away. So, one thing shiny on this is a, is the edge. Um, along the top here. You have a sort of a serrated type, not serrated, but do you see that? Uh, it's cut in, certain, in such a way that you have like a saw, not to be confused with saw as an M249 squad automatic weapon, but saw as in a is a means to cut wood or rope or uh, line right or maybe you need to cut some bone or 550 cord or something like that paracord right uh, attachment points to your M16 slash M4 style uh, weapon the barrel goes through here. At this point, there's a clip snap attachment that will snap on. And then, of course, you got the releases right here. You push those down and you'll release the tension. And you can slide it off. Like so. 
The handle's solid, you can't store anything in there. It's a very solid uh, bayonet. It's balanced okay. Not too bad. Kind of heavy on the handle, depending on where your, your uh, pivot point is. But it's, uh, it's good. I don't want to drop it and destroy my laptop here. So, um, I definitely recommend this. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. It says M9. You probably can't read it. Oh, I'll read it to you. M9 Ontario Knife Company. So that's the manufacturer. It's a very good knife. I think I paid about 120 bucks for it. Um, knife slash bayonet slash whatever you want to call it. It's got a good pommel. If that's how you say it. You can really thump someone good. Probably stick to people good. Um, cut things. Cause damage. Look menacing. Right? Um, scatter itself. Very sturdy. You could probably have the uh, bayonet in the scabbard and bump somebody like that. But, uh, it is what it is. You got a uh, quick release attachment here. See that? Which is good, good to have if you need to take it off real quick. On the, uh, the scabbard itself, you have an ad additional way means of attaching it to yourself via these. I guess you'd call them almost D rings or basically holes in the plastic. And uh, it's put together well. A lot of rivets, heavy duty uh, materials. It'll probably last longer than I will. Uh, very corrosion resistant scabbard, which is good. Probably the steel isn't very corrosion resistant, but. Um, Attaching it to your uh, your web belt, pretty standard. You put the belt in through there. This comes down, and then you brace those down, and it's attached. Right, pretty pretty good, pretty good system. So I recommend this uh, for whatever purposes you see fit. Uh, then again, it's for your M16 slash uh, M4 family, AR15. Very good, uh, very useful piece of kit. Okay, I'm getting tired now. Um, I've got a lot of school to study. I'm going to university and I've got some homework to do. Kind of work graveyards right now and stuff. So do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Uh, support my advertisers because they support me and uh, that means browse what click on their ads browse what they have to to, to offer yeah I d just do me a favor and uh, window shop get some ideas see what see what the deal is um, it's the way this thing works so uh, what do you call stay safe stay alive Stay sane, stay smart, don't break the law, um, do your research, read, read, read. If you're trying to get some kind of equipment, obviously you're on the right track. Don't just listen to my review, listen to a bunch of reviews. If they're out there, read about it. Because when you put your hard-earned money for something, you want a good value, something that will last, right? Not, not a flash in the pan, something that will fail. That M9 bayonet is going to last and last and last. So I think there's some uh, knockoff copies out there. I haven't got a hold of any, but so what? Look out. Other than that, um, 
just be a good to you, uh, your neighbors, uh, your family, and strive for peace because war is no joke. Um, but if you have to go to war, make sure you're highly uh, prepared and legitimate and you might just survive. So other than that, take care of yourself, take care of everybody, and uh, if you're from the United States, um, just be glad that you're from the United States and you're not from some third world uh, starvation uh, uh, messed up place, because I've been to some places I wouldn't want to live, so... Just be grateful for what you got. Other than that, um, do all you can to um, make yourself a productive member of society. Be even-handed. Don't be all specialized in one thing. Don't be a one-trick pony. Wear a lot of different hats. Be able to do a lot of different things. Uh, you want to be adaptable. Adapt and overcome. So, as you can tell... I'm a little bit screwy right now as I'm suffering from lack of sleep and a caffeine jitter type deal. Plus I ate a bunch of sugar ice cream. So I'm all all uh messed up a little bit. Well I, this is this is alright. But I'm doing it to make myself better in the future. You gotta suffer now for a better future. You think you thank yourself later. So, um, yeah, don't, whatever you can do, get you, if you're listening to my voice, try to get into the military in some capacity before you get too old or, or too crippled. Because I'm telling you, uh, there's a chance you'll die anywhere you are, not in or out of the military, so don't let that deter you. It really helped me out, uh, to get ahead in life. So, I recommend it. And uh, uh. so, if you're still watching, I thank you for your patience. Um, I'll get better and more posture on these videos, hopefully, in time. I plan to put about a thousand videos up. Who knows if when I'll be able to do that? I'm putting up some as I can when I can. Um, the reason why I put so I want to put so many up is so I can have this side business of uh, the AdSense deal. So I think I'm done for this weekend. It's uh, Sunday, the fifth of February, two thousand twelve. So wherever you are, whatever time you're in, you might be watching this three hundred years in the future. In that case, uh, I greet you. Hopefully you have something, uh, some something uh, equivalent to what I just reviewed or better. We always want progress, but there's all these but goodies as well. Some things are just very hard to improve on, like the mouse trap. I should do some reviewing on some mouse traps. Okay, dude or dudess or guy or gal, I think I'm done. I think I've jibber jabbered enough. So, uh, keep cool.